This just in, Americans are fleeing Portugal and returning back to the United States because they're finding out that Portugal is just like anywhere else in the world and there are pros and cons to living anywhere. In this video, I'm going to tell you why Americans would want to leave a beautiful country like Portugal and also why they might want to stay. So sit back, grab yourself a nice beverage and stay tuned. Certainly Portugal is transforming into what feels like a new era. Portugal has just sworn in a center-right prime minister, which Portugal was one of EU's few remaining countries with no major populist right party. The non-habitual tax regime, which allowed foreign residents to have some of the biggest tax benefits in Europe, was cancelled. And the infamous golden visa, which allowed foreigners to get residency based on buying property, now doesn't apply to residential housing. Wow, just shows you how much can change in so little time. So are these contributing factors in why Americans are suddenly up and leaving Portugal? Hey guys, this is some guy named Dave in Portugal. And in the two years I've been in Portugal, I honestly don't really know any Americans that are up and leaving. In fact, most of them seem quite happy and content here. So where is all this Americans leaving Portugal data and nonsense coming from? Well, to be honest, I feel like I might be a small bit, maybe partially responsible for a little bit of this as some of my most viewed YouTube videos are why Portugal doesn't work for most Americans. And because nowadays everyone on the internet is so sensitive, I have to explain the premise behind these videos. If you actually watched these videos, you saw that it wasn't a dig on Portugal at all or me complaining about living here, but rather the fact that a strong majority of Americans would not enjoy living in Portugal. And I don't think that should come as much of a surprise. Babe, there is just not enough Starbucks here in Portugal. But these videos about Portugal not working for Americans became popular, and the statistics on YouTube soon showed that people were really interested in the reality of living in Portugal, and not just a TikToker eating pasta de nata and saying, Portugal is the California of Europe. And trust me, Portugal is much more than pasta de nata. <laughs> Mm, so fucking good. Now this is certainly one of the biggest ones you hear many people complaining about. And it's not just the foreigners, but also the Portuguese themselves. Luckily, I have never had major issues with the bureaucracy up until this point. And I have to give a hand for all of the city hall and government workers that are amazing, because a lot of them have been very helpful to me this entire process. But I recently experienced a taste of this when I was waiting for my driver's license exchange, which took almost six months. And it was just finally approved. They basically took my United States driver's license and I had a trip planned to the United States. So I was hoping to receive the driver's license ahead of that trip. But unfortunately, when I went to the United States, I did not have a driver's license and that was a bit of a pain in the butt. But I have heard many horror stories of people not receiving their driver's license for as long as a year or even longer. And one of the biggest problems that's happening right now is the transition of the immigration services from the SEF to the AIMA. People that are trying to book appointments for their initial residency permit are supposed to call a phone number, which is busy most of the time. And when they do get through, they get an automated message saying that there are no appointments available. And for those people that want to renew their residence permit, they have been provided a website that doesn't work half the time and never has any appointments available. Because of this, Portugal has extended the period in which your resident permit expires, but then you can't go to other places in the European Union. So you're basically stuck in Portugal at the mercy of Portugal's bureaucracy. And those are just some of the examples of the bureaucratic processes that can be quite stressful. But from what I've heard, this is pretty much how all of Southern Europe is. Uh, I've heard that Spain has a lot of issues with this as well, and Italy is even worse. But you just have to deal with it if you want the benefits that come with living in one of the best climates of Europe. It's just how it is.
One of the first problems I faced when I first got to Portugal was that many of the TV series I watched on streaming services weren't available here and I was missing out on some of my favorite TV shows. Luckily, the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN, has a solution that allows you to log on to an IP address in the United States where you can have access to all of the TV series and movies available in your region. I would like to thank NordVPN for sponsoring this video because it allows me to keep bringing videos about Portugal to you. But one of the most important features of NordVPN are the security features, like protection against phishing attacks. Scammers can pretend to be someone you trust, like a bank, a friend, or a popular online service, to make you do something dumb without you even knowing, like entering your bank details on a fake website. You get an email from an address that looks legit, and they tell you that you need to take urgent action. It provides a helpful link where you can log in to resolve the problem, and boom, that website is a trap. Once you enter your password, all your information is compromised. The threat protection feature of NordVPN can recognize many malicious links and warn you about dangerous websites. Currently, you can get four months extra on a two-year plan here at www.nordvpn.com slash DavePortugal. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Now, back to the video. I think for Americans, this is a big one. Getting rid of the NHR sent a shockwave through American Facebook groups and here on YouTube. Retirees who had a dream of moving to Portugal because they could make their hard-earned pensions go a lot further. But now with the recent changes, for some it may be no different than just staying in the United States and not leaving. But if you come from a northern European country, paying high taxes isn't new for you. But Americans who didn't qualify for the NHR program will be in quite a shock as the highest bracket of progressive tax rate in Portugal is currently 48%. And don't even get me started on the high prices of cars due to the IVA and import taxes here in Portugal, making it one of the most expensive places to buy a car in Europe. And Americans are taxed federally wherever they go abroad. And even though tax treaties do exist, the guidelines can be a little bit blurred, especially if your fiscal situation is complex and unique. The best thing to do is to hire a tax expert to handle all of this for you, but it can still be a stressful and confusing process. The good news is if you are a retiree on a pension, the taxes are rather straightforward. But if you are self-employed and work in Portugal, things can get quite complex. So some Americans may choose to avoid this altogether and just stay put where they are. But I will say, as an American who has lived in a populist right-wing administration, I wouldn't be surprised if new generous incentives for wealthy foreigners bringing substantial capital to the country was reintroduced in Portugal in the near future. But at the time of making this video, that is not the case. But I don't think that this will stop Americans and other nationalities from moving to Portugal especially ones that won't ever even be a tax resident at all because you can still live in Portugal for up to 182 days without being deemed a tax resident. And I think that is exactly what majority of the people investing in Portugal like the Golden Visa pretty much were doing anyway. Now, moving to a new country can be difficult for anyone. There are hurdles for everyone and even the most dedicated immigrants trying to truly integrate can have issues. It is completely normal for humans to feel homesick and miss their family. Everyone has comfort foods they are accustomed to and they make us feel at home. And sometimes in a new country, you may struggle to find some of these. I know that if Portuguese people came to the United States, they would terribly miss their cozida portuguesa. I think that a lot of Americans that move to Portugal fail to really integrate here. They try to recreate their lives in America, here in Portugal, a lot of the time, and they set themselves up for failure. It's almost as if they are living in an alternate universe and aren't really connecting to the culture here. They are just living in America in Portugal, if that makes sense. And although this may work for some people because they have large expat communities, for some, they don't have the same luxury. For me, Portugal is a country that when you start connecting with the authentic Portuguese culture, you start being exposed to things that you'll never experience in the United States. Every country has their authenticity, 
And finding the heart of that is the most rewarding part of the entire journey. Or else why would you have even come in the first place? If you don't embrace what's around you, you will miss out on the best parts. I personally love living in Portugal and it's hard for me to imagine leaving anytime soon. I have built a community of friends and family here that feels more like home than I even did in the United States. But that may not be the same for everybody and that's okay. No one is forcing you to like something that you just don't. Different strokes for different folks. So let's focus on some of the reasons Americans are staying in Portugal or still choosing to come live here even after these big changes. Portugal still offers one of the easiest ways to get citizenship within the European Union. Portugal offers a pathway to citizenship after five years of residency through a qualifying visa. That is if you can pass an A2 level proficiency test in Portuguese, which after five years of living in Portugal, I really hope you can. Portugal still offers various grants and tax incentives for innovative companies and entrepreneurs. Portugal is not only one of the safest countries in Europe, but one of the top 10 safest countries in the entire world. Portugal has one of the most favorable climates in all of Europe, which is why so many Northern Europeans migrate to Portugal every single year. When comparing other countries in Southern Europe near Portugal, Spain, France, or Italy, English is much more widely spoken in Portugal. Although I would certainly recommend learning some Portuguese as it will be much appreciated and go a long way. Portugal is known for their incredible produce and food. In fact, Portugal is a main source of agriculture around the rest of Europe where certain crops cannot be grown year round like they can here in Portugal. So good fresh food is never hard to find. And because Portugal has a massive coast, seafood is also very accessible and fresh as well. Portugal has an exceptional healthcare system, and they even offer privatized healthcare at a fraction of the cost of the United States giving you both options so you're not at the mercy of just a public healthcare system. It's kind of the best of both worlds. Portugal is very conveniently located for Americans, and they choose Portugal because it is only a seven hour flight from the east coast of the United States. Living in Portugal, you have a plethora of cheap flights, trains, and different modes of transportation all across Europe within a couple of hours. A four hour flight will get you all the way to the other side of Europe. I can definitely say that I am much more patient and calm than I was when I first arrived in Portugal. You have to be, and if you don't learn patience here, you will give yourself a heart attack. Portugal forces you to slow down and accept long waiting times. If you want to see more videos about living in Portugal or the rest of Europe, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button because I'll be posting videos like this every single week on this channel. This is some guy named Dave in Portugal and hopefully we'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao.